Welcome, internet people. Welcome to another installment of As Sarah and a Penguin Sit on a Casting Couch. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard not to laugh at the shit that comes out of my mouth. As you can see, I have a patriotic scheme of cars in this garage right now. The focus is back home since I uh, got it out of the booth and the gump, I just finished doing the headlights. You guys just saw that video. Hopefully, if not, there's a link up above. It'll get you caught up. I am so excited about this right here. I don't know if you guys remember this. It used to be white. Now it's satin black. I got all of the braces powder coated for the MR2 satin black. It's getting windy out there. I think it's gonna hurricane. Of course I would drop that down where I can't get to it. Oh, I love dropping hardware into hard to reach places. It's my favorite. My toolbox is all organized and now I don't know where anything is. I could find stuff quicker when this was a mess. Got it. Magnet. Yeah, that looks so good. I love powder coating things to match the way I want them. It looks so good. Come on. Yay, it threaded. I'm sure there's a torque spec for that, but I'm gonna go with good and tight. Yep. I definitely like that. I don't know if you remember what it looked like before when it was white, but that just, it blends in. It looks OEM almost. Clean, so much better. I wonder if we should put a spare tire in there. Sa, I got these powder coated as well, also. But you've never seen this in a video before. I'm voguing with, I'm gonna shut up. How do these go? Oh man, these match perfectly. I really wish that was cleaner right there. I don't know how to clean that up though. So that's 30 minutes and a headache later of using Goo Gone and shop towels trying to clean up the bottom side of the frame rail. You can see all this stuff just wipes right off, but it's like 30 years of gunk. No, you go this way. No, other side of the car. That's a pretty good match though between these two braces. Happy how that turned out. Green anti-corrosion shit they put on the hardware while it looks pretty, it's super greasy. Does this help? Maybe. Yes. I just had to emergency pull this thing into the shop. It's insanely windy out there. It's about ready to storm bad. It doesn't look like I'm leaving this place anytime soon and I was planning on leaving here in a couple minutes, but. Oh yeah, you can see the rain coming down over there. It's about to get nasty out here. I don't want to get my camera wet. Look at all that. All that darkness over there. Do you hear this? It's storming so bad out there. You probably saw this on the last video if you watched that. Because I was trying to be productive and knock out work while I was filming the end of that video. And I started filming this video because I work. Which way do you go? Oh, that's the wrong brace. So next morning, I'm gonna take the Ranger to the shop. I haven't driven that thing since, since I've been back from New Hampshire. Because I still have no AC, because this truck never had AC, I gotta get there before it starts getting hot out. Oil change. I'm curious to see what this oil looks like after driving this thing cross country. I didn't realize how tall this truck is. I have it all the way up and I can't stand upright. 3,000 miles later. Yeah, that oil was pretty dark. I have no idea what oil was in this thing before. Luckily, this truck is staying at the shop now because it's time to start this restoration process. Drip, damn you. Ooh, that was close. Come on, oil jug. Come with me. Why am I squatting? I'm not under the truck anymore. Now that I got the oil change done, I'm gonna go see what these clowns are doing over here. They're doing bicycle stunts and stuff. Do tricks. Uh, Christian decided to do a 180. 
as I hit shit. And uh, when he did a 180, his bars came off of his bike and he fell on his head. You know what Avril Lavigne saying uh, about Skater Boy? She wasn't talking about those kind. Well, that's a disappointment. Look how close quarters this is. Barely get through here. At least that's changed now. It's got fresh oral in it. I honestly don't even know what to do. I can't start on this thing until I get the MR2 out of here. There's just not enough room. I think every single thing I own is getting some attention in this video almost. Pretty close. I, uh, I bought a new brake master cylinder for it. Not sponsored by the way, but uh, I wanted to get a red one because it's my color theme. So this is like one of the last remaining original parts on this go-kart and uh, yep, it's garbage. See how it leaks fluid out the front seals? I've already replaced the seals. It's just old and worn out. I'm making a mess. Great. Ooh, that's great. I like clean up my mess so I don't eat away at any paint. Well, I did the video restoring the go-kart. Someone in the comment section about how to conniption fit because I've made hard lines for the brakes. Look, braided lines now. Yay! It's actually just because it came with the new master cylinder. That's why this is happening. These silver braided lines look pretty good though. Not gonna lie. That Teflon tape is just spinning inside there, isn't it? There, now it caught. It looks good though, right? Fresh new brake master cylinder on there. Yeah, I know it's two different reds, but that red matches the red up on the steering column. Hello. I'm... I'm struggling right now. It's gonna be at least another couple of weeks until I can get this thing tuned because there's no one available right now. So it's, I gotta get it out of here. I can't start tearing apart this truck because I need one lift to film car reviews on. So I gotta tow this thing to my house, I think. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Luckily this thing isn't heavy. What in the f***ing Salisbury steak? this off. This is really tricky to do. I don't want to scratch anything. I'm a little stressed right now because I know you guys want to see this car tuned and running. I led up to this and I'm sure there's a lot of anticipation and like if this was just my car and I wasn't filming on YouTube it wouldn't matter but I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me to get this thing driving and tuned and ready because all of you are waiting and there's nothing I can do. There's no tuner available for the next couple of weeks to tune this car. So I feel like I'm letting you guys down, but it's like out of my control. I don't know what I can do. Well, I guess I don't have it entirely aligned correctly. Oh, maybe I do. I gotta adjust the latch. X brace. Aw, oh, man. I have to take the strut off. I forgot about that. In today's YouTube video, Sarah complains and digs for nuts in a dish. That right there is the last piece. And that's it. Engine bay makeover is completely done. Hopefully it just runs good once it's tuned. Oh wait, I forgot about the fuel pressure gauge. Fuel pressure gauge. Please be the right size fitting. I'm gonna be sad. Okay, good. Please don't spray me in the face of fuel. Please don't spray me. It's kind of a tight fit between this coolant hose right here and the fuel pressure gauge. It's like really tight fit. Might be a chafe hazard right there. Might have to put something over this hose, but it's in there. If I knew where the antenna was that I bought for this car, I would put that on right now, but I lost it. I have no idea where it is when I moved. I know I said there wouldn't be any more wiring on the MR2, but I forgot since I put a new body harness in this thing, this one doesn't have a plug for the third brake light. I don't understand why there's three wires for a third brake light. It's an LED. An LED, it's a diode. An LED should only have power coming in and a wire coming out. I also have a ethanol percentage gauge that I gotta swap out. Ooh. This thing looks like a Lego, kind of, sort of, no, Bueller, go in your hole, 
It's like a little plastic traffic cone. I don't know if you guys remember a couple years back in a video, a little brown chocolate lab that was named Drake. It was actually Charlie's childhood dog he's had since like high school. And uh, he had to put him down and bury him yesterday. He was 14 years old though. I don't know how old chocolate labs live for, but 14 years, that's gotta be up there with a record, I would say. A seven pin connector, it's full of dirt. I think that'll work. Well, here's the first drive. See, this thing actually starts up. I found out why this thing won't start. The base map I had on here didn't save. It was reset. So I I don't have a base map. I kind of went in there and configured a couple things, the timing and stuff myself. I'm going to see if I can at least get this thing to fire up. There you go. Stay running, car. Yeah, now that I look at it, I think my MR2 is actually lower. Yeah, my MR2 is way lower than this thing. That's why. These ramps are gonna work, but the problem is because the car's not tuned and it's not running very well, it doesn't have enough power to make it up onto the trailer safely. What's a pulley for? So that I can pull your car up like this. You're like that off-road recovery YouTube channel <laughs> using all this math and geometry to winch this car on. Yes, there's a winch right here, but it's not connected to anything. It's pretty much useless. Warthog. Oh my God. I'm just waiting for your truck to come flying into this thing. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's in four-wheel drive in park with the e-brake on. Oh. That's not exactly how I envisioned the MR2 leaving the shop, but at least it drove out of the garage under its own power, so that wasn't a failure. I'm so excited to tow this thing with that Telluride. I don't know why, it just I saw that it said it will tow 5,000 pounds, and I was like, challenge accepted. So I'm gonna do it. I mean, so far it's not too bad going through a parking lot. You can tell there's some weight back there, but the steering isn't that light. The Telluride does a surprisingly good job at towing. I mean, this MR2 weighs 26, 2700 pounds. The trailer's probably 1500. It does not feel like it's forcing this thing all over the place either. Ta-da! There, it's back at my house. Might not be the happy ending I was looking for. That's what he said. Dos is reunited with his brother Gump. How cute. How did I get two biscuits in here? I have two biscuits in here, two tripod biscuits. Wendy, I already need a larger shop. I don't know how I'm gonna take the body off this frame and still have enough room in here to be able to film car views. Cause I film my car views right here. And as you can see, I mean, there's not much room right here to be able to do that. I guess the truck will be right there and then I'll put the bed in the cab behind it. Either way, I'm not going to start on the Ranger in the next video because I don't have the equipment necessary to do this restoration just yet. So that means I guess I'll have to wait till the next video to see what I'm going to start working on. Just kidding. I got to put a roof on this thing. It has no roof. It needs a roof. So I'm going to have to do the slick top conversion and then start getting this thing prepped for the wide body and the long travel suspension arms in the rear and also doing tubs so I can make the suspension have room to tuck the tire up in there. Thank you for being patient with me. I sincerely appreciate it. I wish I could just snap my fingers and the MR2 would be tuned and ready to drive right away, but that's not real life. So, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.